Hey guys, I'm Kendara Blake, author of the Three Dark Crown series, and today I am here to tell you three secrets about my new book, All These Bodies. Secret number one. All These Bodies is set in 1958, and it centers on a string of brutal murders that carved their way through the Midwestern United States, culminating in the killing of almost an entire family inside their Midwestern farmhouse. So the secret is, these murders were inspired by true crimes. And my question to you would be, which true crimes do you think inspired me to create the Bloodless Murders? I'll give you a couple of hints. 1950s, murder in a farmhouse, crime spree, young girl stands accused. Any guesses? Guesses in the comments? Secret number two. The bloodless murders in all these bodies have totally confounded authorities. Despite the fact that all of the victims bled to death, there is suspiciously little blood found at any of the crime scenes. Except for the last one, when a young girl is found drenched from head to toe in the victim's blood, but all of the other crime scenes were suspiciously clean. So my question to you is, where do you think all the blood went? Where did all that blood go? Secret number three which I'm gonna tell you up front is not really a secret. In the beginning of the book, there is a manhunt that leads people with their own dogs through fields and streams and forests on the hunt for this killer. Two of the dogs that take part are these really cute black Labrador retrievers. So my question to you is, what do you think those dogs' names were? What would you name two black labs? Leave those in the comments. It's a book full of murder you guys, and I just want to focus for like five minutes on really cute dogs. All right, so those are three secrets about All These Bodies, which releases September 21st. I am looking forward to reading all of your guesses. If you guess them all right, you don't get anything. Of course, the biggest secret about All These Bodies is what really happened the night that this family was murdered. And how did this young girl wind up covered in their blood? You're going to have to read to find out.